What is up, everybody? Let me am here back on the video. And today, for you guys, we are playing some Risk Global Domination. This is the uh, PS4 version, so it's like it's different in a way. So, like, it's still Risk, like the board game, but like it's set up different. It has a lot more different animations and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, let's get into it. When I popped off, then your girl gave me just a little bit of lot chop, baby. So cool. Okay, first of all, I am sorry that I haven't been posting as much because I've been really busy with school, making a new intro. I hope you like that intro. Tell me down in the comments. But, um, yeah, it's been real busy overall because I just got back to school and all that stuff. I have a lot of work to catch up on. But, uh, yeah, let's just uh, get it set up. I do like to go for Europe, so... That's probably one, going to be one of the main things to try to go for if I even have this. This is capital domination, so you have to get all the capitals on the map to win. So, let's go. Um, yeah. I'm blue, so I'm set up just perfectly to get Europe condo except for this yellow right here. So right now we're just placing our capitals. But if you do not know RIS, the normal objective is to either gain control of the world or gain control of all the capitals. Right now this is capital domination, but you have to gain control of all the capitals to uh, win. Um, and if you're on world domination, which is the other main game mode of this, you have to capture the whole entire world. So, like, and for example, I have all these different, like, you know, areas spread out. So I would want to gain control of Europe to get an extra troop bonus. And the numbers and the things directed into troops. So I would want to get as many troops as I can and as many continents as I can. No cap versions. That's nice. But, um, I'm gonna keep this four here because there's a three right here. And I don't, if I took it down, I might, he might like, put troops there and to take over. But, um, so I'm gonna take this five. And back to Because I want to get my troops over into Europe. If that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna take this and attack the sword because that's not gonna be the area so now I can take that three and move it over I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this here and just move a troop over right here so I'm, I'm not spreading myself too thin to get easily attacked mm. I'm gonna move my troops out of here so I'll Now it's the AI turn. I'm gonna let this play out. I'm not gonna fast it, so you know, doing the basics. Africa always starts off strong because they, they always have a lot of people. Uh, or they always have a lot of troops in there. And a lot of oh, he just beat my one. He just got beat on my one. Oh my goodness. No way. The man is really just got beat on my one. I did put them on defensive as you saw in the intro. So like I think they have like better defense instead of just attacking. Yeah. But I really like the game of risk, so I hope you guys like it too. So I might you might see me playing this a lot. It's a really fun game. I have the fun version and it's like the fun version is a couple better than this because it's not a bunch of animations like really like, like over it really extra, you know what I mean? It has a lot of different animations, but it's a PS4 game, so you would expect it. Um, yeah, the phone version is, like, really fun. Uh, it's called, the phone version is called Risk Global, Global Domination. Hopefully, it doesn't try to attack Europe. I want 
just trying to get to Europe yet. So I set out without really first time I played this, even though I'm really good at risk, I was new to the PS4 version and it looked all this weirdness. But they kept attacking me. And they wouldn't stop attacking me, no matter. I, I would literally have. Um, they, I would literally have like 13 troops on, on all my borders. And this one dude would put all his troops in one spot and attack my 13 to 17 and get attacked from the bottom one. What's the point of that? So, so I think people are, are like. Um, starting today, I'm gonna try to get my schedule more set up. I'm gonna get it set up better. So, like, I'm gonna have to start posting more videos now. I'm probably gonna post better ones now. I have like intro, I'm editing more. I've decided from now, right now, to stop doing live streams. So, like, it's not as complicated so I don't have to go home and live stream every day. I can just make a bunch of videos in one day, edit them, and then, you know, post them every day if I have a lot of stuff to do. So, right now, I'm gaining troops each turn, by the way. So, um, so I can, like, put them anywhere. I'm just trying to go for Europe because I'm putting them in Europe instead of anywhere else. There's an 8 right here, which I really don't like. But I guess I could tag, move those back and put a three there. So. Yellow look like he's trying to gain control of Australia and uh, North America. Is really good at that. I'm not trying to spread myself too thin, so I'm not gonna like attack a bunch of it at one time. And you guys keep asking why am I not attacking, you know, every everything at once to gain control of the full territory. Well, it's because of like, you know, I don't like see how seven troops right beside my capital, three in my capital, four above it, and then three down below. See all those things, all the people around me? They could easily just attack into my territory and then take away my content bonus and like probably get my capital to add enough troops. So I'm not trying to spread myself too thin to make myself vulnerable, but this tin is really looking like he wants to attack me. So I'm not, I'm about to beef up that side and then use the three down below to attack the other ones. And I also want to attack in Africa because the uh, gray or white troop is very ahead. He, he's already have a whole, he already has a whole continent, so he's like getting more troops because he has a whole continent instead of like he's having a couple of territories. You know what I mean? But uh, tell me down in the comments, by the way, if you want me to start fasting the AR so you can see me do my tactics more, or you want to see that yeah, I play it out and just like look. And what it's like what to do if you want to get back into the game or get into this game. Um now red is taking over South America. So they got beat by one. Um might know it was two, sorry. That's why I mean my turn. this up to 10. Because this man is trying to challenge me. Are you challenging me? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do but I'm just saying. Uh, I'm deciding to use um, auto attack, which is faster and easy. I'll have to wait there and watch me attack over and over again. Since that's six to move this four out, I'm gonna go ahead and attack here. I'm gonna take that. Cause I'm about to try to uh, get my borders to the south open because like, uh, 
they're getting the, the white and the green are like getting a little bit too big and as you see everyone when I attack a territory I get um, a territory card and you can use those to cash in to get more troops uh, you, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna wait to cash them in because I can get more troops uh, the more I have so I'm wait until uh, I get a lot of those and after I get uh, Europe all set up and I'm like stable and everything, I'm gonna probably gonna I'm gonna attack into gray because he's getting really powerful. If I have enough, I'll attack into uh, red and pull up back out and go into Europe. Just to take away the continent bonus so they have to re recapture it and get less troops. And just weaken them so they can get attacked. And ne listen, never trying to take Asia. Green. There's, Asia is like the hardest place to take out of the whole game list. because it's so big. There's so many borders you have to protect, and everyone's trying to get it because it's a giant continent bonus. But the smart people are just trying to get Europe, you know, South America, Africa, because they only have like, the, like three or like four borders to protect, while Asia has like eight. If you had, if you had Asia, you would have to spread out your troops so thin. But you, once you get it, you have such a big um, troop bonus. So that's how people always try to get it. And he just... No, oh no, I'll move my three. Actually. He look, and never spread out your troops like Gray's doing. Because he's making himself vulnerable to attack. But he is uh, even in the mouth. So. But, um... Yeah. No, I haven't tried to go for Australian in a while, so I'm thinking that he's might try to attack into Europe, so I'm just thinking that border up because he's got no territory function except for Australia, but they have to the one dude that to capitalize the lockdown. So I feel like Yellow's gonna attack me and So I'm gonna go ahead and um, strengthen that border and then get his yellow out of my Europe. So go ahead and him. Oh, you better attack down. Oh, he's fortifying. Okay, he's not going to attack me. With that, at least. But I am still going to get his, um, three out of him. And Red still hasn't taken over South America, so I don't have to worry about him. But I do have to worry about this Ray, because he's getting lots of but he's trying to take Asia, so like, I don't have to worry about him right now, because he's stupid. He's I am, by the way. So, no, we're triggering his consequences. I am barely one And then you look, we have all these animations once you take over. I'm looking right now. I'm gonna go move this down so green doesn't attack into me. No. I'm gonna attack this over. <laughs> First of all, to get my troops out of there, and second of all, to get yellow less strong and take them out of the game quicker. And I'm gonna keep that there for right now. Only yellow can attack him from there. I don't think he is because this green is I'm probably gonna attack him before that. I'm gonna go ahead and go to four five phase and then move my troops over. I'm not need to press that button. Move my troops over into this one so my borders are protected so it's like harder to get in. And I don't like, think less of doing it.
Red not close to me, so I'm just worried about him. No, I just look unless he literally puts like freaking billion troops there. I'm trading in cards next round, so um, I can pretend I'm more busy, even though I don't worry about him. Oh, I don't even have to. I'm still gonna do it because that green looks like he's about to attack me. Wow. Uh, I didn't even. Okay, buddy. Guess you have to um record before you draft the troops. Oh. Green is getting a little bit too big right here. He still hasn't gotten my guy's card. So I think I'm good right now. I feel like I might not win this. Even though you really don't even have a card. When you spread out, that's the thing. Green or uh, white needs to take over my Madagascar. He's bad attack. 
my subscribe. Wow. Well, he does need to need to attack or uh, attack Madagascar, take over the continent, get enough troops, and then hit the green. He'll have a whole other capital, getting more troops and having a lot easier. Um, I'm having more troops per turn because he, because he has another capital actually. But red, he's on the right track, but he's not. He needs to try to take over the whole continent. None of these people are trying to do that. Because he maybe well green because yellow is putting like a freaking million troops in his territory. So he can't grab that last uh, continent. So. Oh, I don't know. That's something. Green's getting a little bit too antsy over here with those troops. I could get 10 troops right now. Hmm. Should I? I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna be a little bit too much. camping there, you know? Not even doing it. But green, uh, gray, he's like probably getting the same thing as the Africa continent bonus because he has so many territories and he just left his um, capital open for me to attack him. He literally just did, he left his capital open. I'm putting down my troops down the matter card car and attacking up his capital. The troops I get from next round. Yes, green. Thank you. You yes, thank you so much. Probably like why am I cheering for a whole other uh, player? He's attacking gray, getting um, less of his. Oh, he's no way he's not about to attack me. Yellow finally is about to move troops over to ta attack uh, all of Australia. But red, sorry, but well, red has like more troops there, so he should try to attack Australia. If you know what I mean? But he's not. He's being dumb for that. He's not even attacking the two to get a whole continent. So he's like, like not even strong but I'm put I am gonna put my troops here and then attack on his capital and then hold those there because he attacks me super vulnerable once again and then I'm gonna attack down into his territory but he might even the troops out so the only reason I'm really doing this so he doesn't attack me and I can get his capital. So yeah. Yes, 
think we're good right now. Um, the PS4 version of Risk, they're like trying to do way too much. I want to give me an end intro, like I have like the beginning of one where I talk or say whatever, whatever the game I'm playing, and then it goes to the intro, and then I go into regular talking and uh, kind of start to play the game. But I want to get one for the end of the video when I get done playing, and then the, like the intro plays and then the video. Oh well, no, not really. That that'll be weird. This this yellow needs to decide what he's gonna do because he has 26 troops. And green has like two troops per territory, which is not even that much, so. Sorry I stopped talking, but my mom just found a turtle under the pool and he's trying to keep it. So he's walking asking for a bucket to put it in, so like I don't even know. So I'm assuming now you guys get the game, like what's all, what what it's all about. I cannot English today. I am putting this out on the date of 9 15, 2020. I'm making it on that date, so I'm planning on getting it out today. So. All I gotta do is edit the intro and then maybe turn down the clip volume because it may be the PS4 or anything or whatever but it's kind of all I have to do to edit the first video and I love the game I hope you guys like it if you guys like it I will literally have to um, make an intro and then play the game and then um, when I go to edit it I literally have to put in the intro and the split between where I uh, finish the main part of the intro and then go to play the game. Put it right in between there and then literally just maybe either turn down the clip volume or turn it back up or something. It's actually not that much. And after I get, like, I don't know, you know I'm just talking for now. See what I mean? Jay should have already took Africa by now, so it's kind of his fault that he is. I got it. He's got a cap, cap all taken. You know what I'm doing next round? And when I get enough troops, I'm going to put all my troops in one spot. Take out the green dude's capital, which is literally the biggest, except for yellow. And I'm going to go over into North America, take out yellow, because I'm assuming green will have them by then, and then green will get attacked maybe by white. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go over to the 
capital. Everyone's capital has so many troops in it, but it's in different territories. You know what I mean? Well, except for the gray or whites. He's literally in his freaking territory, which makes him ten times stronger than all the other ones, because they don't even have currency. Not even he, but like his capital. It's in his continent, but he doesn't have his capital right now. I took it from him. He doesn't have that capital privilege now. So, like, he's getting less troops, and he doesn't have a whole continent, and he's getting attacked by green up there, so, like, green, uh, white isn't doing too good right now. You feel me? I need to take off you already. Like, come on, bro. Sorry, I'm just Okay. There's no way uh, greens are attack me. I'm just not matching um, gray troop for troop. So. Yeah, I'm right now. I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna take and just hold the capital down instead of trying to attack out right now. I might use my. I really hope Green attacks my one so I can use that 15 and then go over into uh, Asia and then uh, take out the north, northern part of Asia that Green or Gray owns. So I can just wipe them out easier when it comes time. To get another continent right now because I'm not, I don't have enough troops to attack these people because they have so many. The only other red continent that, that doesn't literally have a 25 capital is great, like. but he literally has like a billion troops in three spots. The main borders, not even taking over a whole continent. Attacking red in South America right now because literally the only other way for me to get to South America without dying in the process by like freaking a billion troops. I'm attacking. I'm just trying to go down, bro. I'm trying to get to South America. I'm probably going to stop at Mexico. So. I don't know what I'm going to do with the border. This may be a bad move on my part. Why well, do I have two pressing? Normally, there's just dice. I don't care about your mission, guys, though. I didn't. I just had leveled. Okay. We have 
Green doesn't have enough troops or enough territory to overtake probably like just a regular 10. I'm gonna move like four troops out to the border so she goes over and attacks. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to get some music in the video, so straight up, not just straight up, freaking. I don't know what this is. I don't even notice this music, it's horrible. It's too much. Twenty? How does he have twenty-four troops? How? He doesn't have no territory. How does he have twenty-four troops? He better have played in cards if he hasn't. He's not even trying to take North America back. Like he's just letting me have it. And I bet you he's about attacking the Africa in Europe because that's these type of people. But don't know what he's doing with that twenty because I know he ain't taking Asia. You see that twenty-one right there? Nope, he's going, he's going for my... Yeah. Oh, you better be going for my Asia, but like... You have to go to that 21, buddy. But he's at 38, and I'm gonna tap him, smash the tap, tap it, and he's gonna do that. Yeah. So, now we have no more capital to drop. Other than yellow, which is literally 20 billion troops, so I'm not gonna do that What's he doing? Why? Why? He's about to attack me, no way, no way he's going to attack me. At this point, Red, what's the point of boosting your freaking that you don't even have all the way yet because I'm just gonna roll through it like a freaking 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 yeah uh <laughs> that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run through it like a freaking 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 you know steamroller what you're getting too antsy everybody I'm sorry I'm not gonna double attack my turret. Why? I didn't mean to do that. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I did that by accident, but I just did that. I'm not gonna fortify anything else, so. I care about Mongolia for It's one less sitting there and letting go white attack me. And look here about attacking me just because I did that one mistake. One mistake. And maybe putting those 22 on the other side. Because it's green. But nope, I don't know. He's, he isn't even attacking me. I'm gonna make him super vulnerable for my attack, red attack, and green attack. But like, dang. You're missing your capital and you're gonna live a continent. So, what's the point of the point? I don't know. Murky. He has Marco. My friend, buddy. He only has two troops there, but I don't care. Because I didn't even want that to look at me. And why are you still trying to take North America? Look at that 20. Or 30, I'm lying. 32. Yeah. 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 Nice money. You're not attacking by Europe. By the way. Oh. Oh, no way.
isn't what just happened. He should use that six to go over into um northern Asia so we can take his twenty eight that he has over there and move it over into who is North America, which he could use to take over that capital that yellow has in this territory and he can just leave the other capital alone because he'll have one called someone else's you just trade capitals you know you don't have to worry about me i'm just trying to take south america that's all i'm trying to do buddy but probably not that smart i think i think you do hmm. Trust, buddy. I don't care about this. This stuff does scan the whole world. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not the it's literally counting down, buddy. How much you can, buddy? Buddy, buddy, buddy. No, no, no. They're kind of stupid, so I'm pretty sure they're not gonna try and attack me. But this man has a whole 18 in his continent. So I wouldn't recommend he attack me. And green doesn't have a whole continent either, so I wouldn't recommend he attack me on that. I don't want to defend so I'm just defending a little bit too much. I'm glad this isn't world domination or this would be way too complicated. I'm just trying to take South America just to gain more troops. Once I get South America, I can split up my troops even more, obviously. This man has 23 in almost three different places, and he isn't attacking me. Wow. I'm not even putting troops in freaking Southern Africa either. I'm really keeping them. Same amount of troops everywhere on, yet he still doesn't attack me. My export. Um, Troops on my border because it's green. What's the point in having troops in Asia and North America if you still don't have one of them? Attack, buddy. I like how stuff that he's actually thinking about it. This man is calculated four turns ahead, yet he's still on record. Why? You stupid AI am making my head hurt. We have three more capitals to get. It's gonna be a long video chat. I'm gonna hurry it up now, please. I might do a part one and part two to this. How are you gonna attack Southern America, but you're not gonna attack Australia? Maybe, maybe I just made him get his own continent. Or nope, nope, he's not gonna attack the other one, of course. What is a seven gonna do to a twenty-one? I'm just about to go full ham, but I might just leave it off here. I can guys wait for the next one. Like he just made himself super weak too. Just I could snatch up his continent. Well since we have this foothold, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a part one and have part two tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.